So to find the best corrected axis or refined axis, we use the technique which is called the straddling technique. So to learn about the straddling technique, suppose our spherical correction was 1.5 plus, which is before the patient's eye and the cylinder is 1.00 plus, right, which is already introduced before the patient's eye and the axis of the cylinder are 90 degree. Now we will start our straddling technique because as I said, the 90 degree, which is the axis of the cylinder right now are not the best corrected axis right now. We have to convert these rough axis into refined axis, right? So for that purpose, we will use the technique which is called the straddling technique. Again, our spherical correction was plus 1.5, which is already before the patient's eye. The cylinder is plus 1, which is already introduced before the patient's eye and the axis of the cylinder are, are at 90 degree. Now we will on our retinoscopy again, right? And as our axis are 90 degree and now, and now I will put my streak of the retinoscopy at 90 degree. Suppose the axis of the cylinder, this is my cylinder and axis of the cylinder are at 90 degree. These are axis of the cylinder which are at 90 degree, right? So my axis of the cylinder are at 90 degree. You can see this is my cylinder and the axis, the line of the axis of the cylinder is at 90 degree, right? Now I will on my retinoscope and I will put the streak of my retinoscope at 90 degree like this, right? And then to perform the straddling, I will move my streak of the retinoscopy at 45 degree apart, 45 degree apart from the, from this direction and 45 degree apart from 90 to this direction, right? So if I am moving from 90 degree to this direction, 45 degree apart, the axis here would be at 45 degree. So I will put my streak at 45 degree, right? The axis, keep it in mind, the axis of the cylinder in the trial frame are 90 degree and I am putting my streak at 45 degree, 90, 90 degree apart, sorry, 45 degree apart from the 90 degree, which is 45 degree, right? So I will put my streak at 45 degree and I will notice the thickness of the reflex inside the patient's pupil. And I will keep that thickness in mind that what is actually the thickness of the reflex when streak is at 45 degree and axis of the cylinder are at 90 degree. So I have noticed my thickness at 45 degree, right? And now again, I will put my streak from 45 degree to 45 degree apart from 90 degree to 45 degree apart at here, which is, you know, that 135 axis, right? And then when I will put my streak at 135 axis, again, I will notice, I will check the thickness of the reflex inside the patient's pupil right again listen to me very carefully the axis axis of the cylinder at 90 degree i will put i will on my retinoscope and i put my streak of the retinoscope at 45 degree right and i sweep the retinoscope before the patient's pupil and i noticed the thickness of the reflex and keep it in mind right i have kept in mind that thickness of the uh, reflex right and then this is Position number one, I have noticed the thickness of the reflex and now I will put my uh, streak at 135 degree, which is 45 degree apart from opposite direction. And now I will sweep the reflex uh, streak and will check, will analyze the thickness of the reflex, right? And if suppose at when my streak was at 45 degree and then my streak was at 135 degree, if the thickness of the reflex in both of these meridians, 45 degree and 135 degree. If the thickness of the reflex was same, then axes which are already placed, which are 90 degree are fine, right? We will not change the axis anymore. The axes which are 90 degree are corrected. If the thickness on both of the sides are same, the reflex thickness is same at both meridians, then axes are already best corrected. So as I said, if the thickness 
on the both side are the same the thickness of the reflex is same on both sides right 45 degree apart in this direction and in that direction so there is no need to change my axis of the cylinder but if the thickness over here suppose this is 45 degree which is 45 degree apart from 90 degree and here 135 if the thickness of the reflex is less or reflex at 45 degree when my streak was at 45 degree the reflex is thin right and when i move my streak at 45 sorry 135 degree the thickness of the reflex is more the reflex is thick so now what will we do remember when the reflex thickness the thickness of the reflex is different in both meridians right then we will move our axis of the cylinder 5 degree towards the least thickness of the reflex so the thickness of the reflex is least in which direction 45 direction so we will move our cylinder which is at 90 degree right now we will move 5 degree towards the 45 direction so my new axis would be 85 so 90 degree are not my refined axis anymore my refined axis right now are 85 degree and now again my axis are 85 degree right so i will go again the same procedure i will go 45 degree apart from 85 in this direction and 45 degree apart in that direction so in that in this direction when i will move from 45 degree towards this direction from 85 so the meridian would be 85 that would be 40 right and in this in the in this direction towards a thin direction right so i will check i will put my streak at 40 degree and will observe the thickness of the reflex and i will put my streak at 140 axis and will check my thickness of the reflex if the thickness of the reflex is same in both meridians then 85 would be my best corrected axis so like this i can jump 20 degree or i can take four steps right i can move from 90 to 85 step number one 85 to 80 step number two 82 75 3 75 to 74 i will gain my best corrected axis in these four steps in these four steps right if you are going further then it means your procedure is not corrected right so the short form is or conclusion is if the thickness if the axes are at 90 degree and you will put your streak 45 degree apart in this direction 45 degree apart in that direction and if the thickness of the reflex inside the pupil is same in both meridians then the axes which are already settled are best corrected axes and if the thickness is reduced in one direction and thickness is more in opposite direction then you will put then you will move your axis of the cylinder 5 degree toward the least thickness and you can take four jumps you can take four jumps or you can move 20 degree from your rough axis this phenomena or this technique is called the straddling technique and if you want to watch more videos regarding the retinoscope or retinoscopy watch these videos